Secondly, we will talk about delivery types in foreign trade, in other words, in quotam roles. Delivery in foreign trade is the determination of half the costs, risks and responsibilities that may arise during the transportation of the goods from the exporter's workplace to the importer's workplace will be shared between the exporter and the importer. Companies that are parties to foreign trade are located in different countries and sometimes on separate continents and they often do not know each other. In the process of foreign trade, goods are transported between countries and various risks and costs arise. Who will bear this risk and cost should be decided during the negotiations between the parties and the foreign trade contract should be prepared accordingly. Who will organize the process of transporting the goods? Who will pay the transportation cost? Who will be responsible for the risks arising during transportation? What does and does not include the price of goods paid by the importer? Questions like this should be answered from the beginning. Delivery methods in foreign trade were determined according to the unwritten commercial customs and traditions until 1936. Trade carried out according to the commercial customs and traditions brought many problems with it. Thereupon, there was a need for a supranational institution independent of governments by standardizing commercial customs in a way that all foreign trade countries can use jointly. For this purpose, the International Chamber of Commerce, International Chamber of Commerce ICC, was established. Since 1919, ICC has tried to increase the volume of foreign trade in the world by reducing the formalities in foreign trade and ensuring the use of common documents and procedures. At 1923, the first foreign trade terms of the ICC were born. In 1919, a common pool of foreign trade terms used by traders in 13 countries was studied and the study was continued with six foreign trade terms. It was published in 1923. At 1928. The 1923 edition was simplified. Inconsistencies in meaning and provisions have been re rearranged. The study of foreign trade terms was expanded and interpreted to cover 30 countries. 8. 1936. Global Rules for International Trade Law was published for the first time. International Commercial Terms, the first bulletin with the title Inco Terms, was published. As a result of extensive work, FAS, FOB, CNF, CIF, and XSHIP and XQA took place. In 1953, rail transport was among the regulations. Due to the World War II, modes of delivery in terms clauses were suspended and published in 1953, after the first revisions were made. Three new delivery methods have been introduced for foreign trade transactions outside the sea. The new rules are DCP, FOR, and FOT. In 1967, incorrect commands corrected. ICC, International Chamber of Commerce, ushered in a third revision period due to the misinterpretation of the previous version or due to the merchants' interpretations in their own interest. DAF, Delivery at Border, and DDP, Delivery at Destination, delivery forms have been added as a foreign trade terms. At 1974, it was among the regulations as there were developments in air travel. The increasing use of air transport has made it popular among foreign trade terms. ICC, International Chamber of Commerce, edited the FOB rule to the point of the ship. At 1980, due to the increase in container traffic, new documentation and regulations on foreign trade transactions were needed. Added the foreign trade term FRC, ferry carrier at specified point, for goods that are not picked up by the ship, but are picked up from a point on the shore, such as container. At 1990, a completed major revision has been published. Transport specified by the fifth revision modes international trade rules have been simplified and their meaning strengthened. Solutions to previous problems are now more clearly highlighted. The terms FOR, free on rail, FOT, free on truck, and FOB, free on airport and ship, have been signified with FCA. At 2000, a minor change has been released for customs. At 2010, 
In core terms, 2010 takes into account the spread of free zones in world trade, the increasing use of electronic communications in business relations, rising security concerns regarding the movements of good, and changes in transport practices. D family changes have occurred in this version. At 2020, the latest version has been released to keep up with the current world. With Inco terms 2020, which entered into force of January 1, 2020, arrangements have been made in the delivery methods. According to new regulations, DAT delivery method has been removed from the application. DPU, delivered horse placed unloaded, has been defined as a new form of delivery. In addition, various changes have been made in content of EXW and DDP rules and some parts of the previous versions of the XCA delivery form have been clarified. The rules published by the ICC are known as Incoterms rules. The purpose of these rules is to facilitate the development and conduct of world trade, clearly define the responsibilities of the parties within the scope of commercial term to be chosen, and operational eliminating the risk of confusion, elimination of uncertainties and prevention of loss, time and money. By creating a set of international rules for the interpretation of terms commonly used in the field of foreign trade, it is aimed to prevent such rules from being interpreted differently from country to country. These terms define the limits of the responsibilities of the exporter and the importer in foreign trade. Inco terms rules are not a legal obligations, and in order to be binding for importers and exporters, Inco terms rules must be referred to in the foreign trade contract. Inco terms rules are legally optional rules. In order to be compatible with Inco terms trade applications, it has been modified eight times until today: 1953, 1967, 1976. 1980, 1990, 2000, 2010, and 2020. A new Incoterms version published by the ICC does not automatically replace the previous version. In short, the parties can also use the old versions provided that they are referred to in the foreign trade agreement. They just need to write the date of the version they want to use. When using Incoterms, one, Make sure to refer to the Incoterms rules in your sales contract. You can apply the rules of Incoterms 2020 in your contract while using the Incoterms rules chosen to cover the place specified in your contract and the phrase Incoterms 2020 together. 2. Select the appropriate Incoterms rule. The chosen Incoterms rule should be chosen according to the nature of the goods, the way they are transported, and the fulfillment of the responsibilities allocated to the seller or buyer. 3. Specify the place or port as clearly as possible. Incoterms rules fulfill their function effectively only when the parties clearly indicate a place or port. 4. Note that Incoterms is not a complete sales contract. Incoterms regulate matters such as delivery, cost, issuance of documents, but do not regulate matters such as form of payment, amount, transfer of ownership. These issues are regulated by the clear provisions to be included in the contract or the law to be applied to the contract. Incoterms 2020 was announced by the ICC on September 10, 2019. As of January 1, 2020 Incoterms 2020 entered into force and started to be implemented. Incoterms, international commercial terms, are the standards for the delivery methods established by the International Chamber of Commerce, ICC, which define the responsibilities of the sellers, exporters, and buyers, importers, doing cross-border trade for the delivery of tradable goods. Incoterms 2020 Basic Classifications In the previous versions of Incoterms, we see that a distinction is made according to delivery types, starting with the letter E, F, C, and D, or a classification is made according to the maritime shipments and the multimodal transportation types. While Incoterm 2020 is being prepared, we see in the tables that maritime shipments consisting of FAS, FOB, CFR, CIF are determined as a class, while other delivery methods consisting of EXW, FCA, 
CPT, CIP, DAP, DPU, DDP are classified as multimodal air, sea, land, iron. On the other hand, while the Incoterms 2020 was being organized, the responsibilities and risks of the companies were basically discussed and the determining point was the stages of shipment and the determination of the parties that undertake the transportation risk. Eight Incoterms consisting of EXW, FCA, FAS, FOB, CPT, CFR, CIP and CIP form the first category as delivery methods where the responsible top shipment belongs entirely or partially to the buyer, namely the importer. DAP, DPU and DDP where the responsibility and risk of transportation is on the seller, that is the exporter, are accepted as the second category. There are four groups in Incoterms delivery forms. Group E, which represents the workplace of the exporter. X work with the letter E of the word. Group F, with the letter F of the word of free, which means that the exporter will deliver without shipping and insurance. Group C, with the letter C of the word carriage, which expresses the obligation to deliver the freight paid. Group D, is grouped on the basis of the letter D of the word delivery, which expresses the delivery condition outside the exporting country. As you move from group E to group D, the responsibility of the exporter increases. As you move from group D to group E, the responsibility of the importer increases. While the E group delivery method is advantages for the exporter, the D group delivery method is advantages for the importer. In this table, you can see the risk distribution among seller and buyer. As you see, seller's risks, tasks, and costs increase from EXW delivery method to DDP delivery method. On the contrary, the risks of the buyer decrease from EXW delivery method to DDP delivery method. Now, we will examine all these methods. X-Works is the least risky and the simplest mode of transportation for exporters, that is, vendors among the 11 different delivery methods included in Incoterms 2020. With Incoterms 2020, no change has been made in the form of EXW delivery. However, it was emphasized that the X-Works method of delivery puts all risks and responsibilities on the buyer company including the loading of the goods from the seller's address to the transport vehicle and the customs procedures in the seller's country, and that is, it's a difficult delivery method for the buyer company. It is the delivery method that puts the seller at least risk. In the form of EXW delivery, the exporter is at the place where the goods to be exported will be loaded, factory, warehouse, etc., is sufficient to keep the goods ready in packaging. Here, the importer assumes all responsibility. It sends the transport vehicle to pick up the goods in the exporter's country through its own agency, loads the goods, and passes it to the customs. If an intermediate carrier is used, loads it to the main carrier, brings it to its own country, and sends it to the place where the goods will be unloaded by passing through the customs in its country. Customs transport, dispatch, loading, unloading and their costs in both countries belong to the importer. Transport. The seller has no obligation to make a contract of carriage. It can be determined by agreement. Insurance. Insurance transactions are left to the mutual agreement of the parties. Insurance may not be made or, according to the agreement, both the buyer and the seller can make the insurance. Transport mode. All transport in modes available. In practice, the seller is not responsible for loading the goods, but may load at the buyer's expense and risk. If such a situation will occur, the FCA rule will be more appropriate. The buyer is responsible for fulfilling the export customs procedures. If it is not technically possible to perform this process, the FCA rule should be preferred. In the form of FCA delivery, the seller loads the goods from his own place to the intermediate carrier, 
carries out customs clearance, delivers the goods to that carrier at designated place with whichever main carrier will go, and the seller's responsible to ends here. If the loading is at the seller's location, the responsibility lies with the seller and elsewhere it is the buyer's. For example, the seller loads the goods on the intermediate carrier, leaves the loading on the plane to the buyer after passing through the airport customs. If the main carrier is a truck, it is also possible to load at the workplace according to mutual agreement and there will be no need for an intermediate carrier for the seller. It does the loading on the main carrier and its responsibility ends there. With the update on board bill of lading, it was provided to seller. Transport. The cost and responsibility of the main carrier belongs to the buyer. Insurance. There is no obligation to have insurance. Insurance transactions are left to the mutual agreement of the parties. Transport mode. All transporting modes available. Other from INCO terms separately, the FCA delivery form must specify the agreed delivery place precisely and carefully. For example, if the seller is located in the city of Izmir and the buyer company is located in a different city in the same city at the address if he wants delivery, FCA Izmir is not enough. For example, a clear address should be specified as FCA Izmir warehouses. The main difference between FCA and FOB in container loadings is that the cost incurred at the loading port belong to the buyer for FCA cargoes and the seller for FOB shipments. In FCA loading, the seller's responsibility ends when the buyer delivers the cargo or loaded container to the point requested. FCA price calculations Product cost plus profit share plus packaging plus loading plus inland shipping plus customs cost. FAS delivery method is valid for sea transport. The seller brings the goods that he has loaded on the intermediate carrier at his own place to the port, carries out the customs clearance and leaves them in the port before the stage of loading on the ship. If the ship is in the open and intermediate carrier is required from the port to the ship for loading, the responsibility of the intermediate carrier also belongs to the seller. After that, the responsibility passes to the buyer. The buyer bears the cost of loading, unloading, transportation and insurance. Transport. The cost and responsibility of the main carrier belongs to the buyer. Insurance. There is no obligation to have insurance. Insurance transactions are left to the mutual agreement of the parties. Transport mode. Sea transport mode. In the form of FAS delivery, the seller is obliged to deliver the goods at the port where the ship is located, to the side of the ship. If loading is to be done on a ship that is anchored in the open and both parties have agreed in this way, the seller delivers the cargo by taking it to the side of the ship by barges. According to the FAS delivery method, the seller is obliged to load the export cargo to deliver the goods at the desired point by providing the inland transportation to the ship port that the buyer has notified in advance and to carry out the customs procedures. FAS price calculation Product cost plus profit share plus packaging plus loading plus inland shipping plus customs cost in the form of FOB delivery, the seller applies the same FAS delivery procedure and loads the goods unloaded at the port onto the ship and transfers the responsibility to the buyer. Transport. The cost and the responsibility of the main carrier belongs to the buyer. Insurance. There is no obligation to have insurance. Insurance transactions are left to the mutual agreement of the parties. Transport mode. See transport mode. According to the FOB delivery method, the seller is responsible for loading the export cargo, providing the inland transport to the ship's port that the seller has notified in advance, including the port coast, until the cargo is loaded on the ship's deck. It is also responsible for carrying out customs procedures. While determining the FOB delivery method, attention should be paid to the delivery port. 
The buyer company can specify the port of the city different from the city where the seller company is located. This detail should not be omitted, as the internal shipping costs belong to the seller. FOB price calculation Product cost plus Dividend plus Packaging plus Loading plus Inland shipping plus Port charges plus Customs charges CFR and CF is used only in sea transportation. The exporter loads the goods on the transport vehicle, carries out the customs clearance, puts the goods in the port, loads them on the ship, and pays all expenses and freight until they are unloaded at the designated port of the destination. Although the transportation belongs to the seller, all risks, loss, damages, and etc. during transportation belong to the buyer. In other words, the seller only bears the freight cost. Shipping and customs clearance in the buyer's country are the buyer's responsibility. Transport. The cost of the main carrier belongs to the seller. Insurance. There is no obligation to have insurance. Insurance transactions are left to the mutual agreement of the parties. Transport mode. Sea transport mode. In CFR delivery mode, the seller, that is, the exporter company, completes the operation by organizing the processes of loading at the factory, inland transportation, loading to the ship at the port and freight, and delivering the cargo to the buyer at a port located in the country of the buyer, that is, the importer. For example, in the contract or pro forma invoice delivery term, if it is specified as CFR, Antwerp port, an export company located in Izmir is responsible for the shipment processes of the cargo loaded on the ship at Izmir Al Sanjak port until it reaches the Belgian Antwerp port. The buyer, that is, the importer company, ensures after loading, pays the port cost after the ship arrives at the port of Antwerp, carries out the customs procedures, and the import process is completed. The main difference that distinguishes CFR delivery from CIF delivery is that insurance is provided by the buyer, not the seller. Coverage of insurance for export and import shipments is limited. Therefore, exporter CIF usually takes out a limited insurance in sales. The buyer may choose the CFR delivery method for purposes such as making a more comprehensive insurance or being able to continue with his or her insurance company in case of possible damage. CFR price calculation, product cost plus dividend plus packaging plus loading plus inland shipping plus port charges plus customs charge plus freight. In the form of CIF delivery, the exporter checks on marine insurance in addition to CFR conditions. Although the transportation cost belongs to the seller, the risks belong to the buyer. Transport. The cost of the main carrier belongs to the seller. Insurance. Insurance belongs to the seller. Unless otherwise stated, coverage is limited. It is made according to C. Transport mode. C transport mode. The seller loads in its own facilities, transports the export cargoes to the port by organizing the inland shipment, ensures that the cargo is loaded on the ship, completes the customs procedures, ensures and organizes the shipments at his own expense. The buyer is responsible for all costs and risks, including the operations at the port and customs clearance in his own country from the moment the ship carrying the cargo arrives at the destination port. CIF is the most used form of delivery in Group C in terms it appears to be. CIF price calculation, product cost plus dividend plus packaging plus, loading plus, inland shipping plus, port charges plus, customs charges plus, insurance plus, freight. In the form of CPT delivery, the exporter assumes the responsibility to pay the freight up to the pre-agreed destination. All transporting models is especially used in multi-vehicle transportation types. From the moment the seller transfers the goods to the custody of the first carrier, all risks related to the goods, excluding freight, passes to the buyer. Transport. The cost of the main carrier belongs to the seller. Insurance. There is no obligation to have insurance. 
Insurance transactions are left to the mutual agreement of the parties. Transport mode. All transports in modes available. If the CFR mode of transportation used for maritime transportation is used in cases where more than one transportation vehicle is used, the CPT delivery method is applied. CFR, as is the case with its delivery, the insurance is made by the buyer company. Inco terms by sea shipments by 2020 multi model emphasizing the difference of shipments other than maritime or maritime transport. Reference was made to the fact that it would be correct to use CFR instead of CPT if there is a port delivery shipment excluding insurance. CPT price calculation Product cost plus dividend plus packaging plus loading plus inland shipping plus port charges plus custom charges plus freight. Exporter in CIP delivery form at CPT, in addition to the conditions, it also undertakes transportation insurance. Transport. The cost of the main carrier belongs to the seller. Insurance. Insurance belongs to the seller. Insurance coverage, unless otherwise stated, it is made according to A. Transport mode. All transport in modes available. In the form of CIP delivery, the seller, that is the exporter company, organizes the process of loading at the factory, inland transportation, loading to the ship at the port and shipping, and completes the operation so that the cargo is delivered to the address of the buyer after the customs procedures are completed by the buyer. At the customs point specified by the buyer in the country of the buyer, that is, the importer. For example, in the contract or performing invoice delivery term, if it is specified as CIP Berlin, an exporter company located in Izmir is responsible for all processes of the cargo unloaded in a truck in Izmir, except for customs clearance and tax payments in the buyer's country until the cargo reaches to the address of the importer, that is the buyer in Berlin. Although the CIP mode of transportation is widely used in road vehicle transportation, it is also used in aircraft and ship shipments. CIP price calculation, product cost plus dividend plus, packaging plus, loading plus, inland shipping plus, customs cost plus, insurance plus, freight. Inco terms undertakes the task of DEQ, DAF, DES and DDEU data reforms that were included and removed in 2000. All transporting modes available. In this form of delivery, after the exporter has loaded the goods and passed them through the customs of his own country, if he has used an intermediate carrier, loads the main carrier and reaches the aggregate destination, port, warehouse, logistic terminals or the importer's warehouse and leaves the unloading to the buyer. Customs clearance, customs duty, and other costs in the importer's country belong to the importer. Transportation. Costs belong to the seller. Insurance. There is no obligation to have insurance. Insurance transactions are left to the mutual agreement of the parties. Transport mode. All transporting modes available. In the form of DAP delivery, the seller, that is, the exporter company, organizes the processes of loading at the factory, inland transportation, loading to the ship at the port and shipping, and transports the cargo at a terminal or a transport point specified by the buyer after the customs procedures are completed by the buyer. At the customs point specified by the buyer in the country of the buyer, that is, the importer, completes the operation to be delivered. For example, in the contract or performer invoice delivery term, if it is specified as DAT Berlin, an exporter company located in Izmir is responsible for all processes of the cargo loaded in a truck in Izmir until the cargo reaches the address of the importer, that is the buyer, in Berlin, except for customs clearance and tax payments in the buyer's country. From CIP differently, in the form of DAP loading, the internal transportation processes in the buyer's country and the delivery order fee to be charged by the carrier belong to the seller. DAP price calculation, product cost plus, dividend plus, packaging plus, shipping plus, inland shipping plus, customs charges plus, insurance plus, freight plus, inland shipping costs in buyer's country.
VAT in this form of delivery, the exporter loads the goods and passes them through the customs of his own country. If an intermediate carrier is used, loads the main carrier and unloads them at the agreed destination, port, warehouse, logistic terminals, or the importer's warehouse. However, customs clearance, customs duty, and other costs in the importer's country belong to the importer. Transportation. Cost belong to the seller. Insurance. There is no obligation to have insurance. Insurance transactions are left to the mutual agreement of the parties. Transport mode. All transport in modes available. In the form of DPU delivery, the seller, that is the exporter company, organizes the processes of loading at the factory, inland transportation, loading to the ship at the port and shipping, and transport to the cargo to a terminal or a transport point previously specified by the buyer after the customs procedures are completed by the buyer at the customs point specified by the buyer in the country of the buyer, that is, the importer, completes the operation to be delivered. For example, in the contract or performing invoice delivery term is specified as DPU NIST train station, in Istanbul a resident exporter company, the cargo loaded on the truck in Istanbul in NIST importer, that is, the buyer company is responsible for the risk related to the shipment until the cargo arrives at the NIST train station address. DPU porting in coterms instead of DAT mode of transport in 2010 in coterms, it entered into the force in 2020. DPU price calculation Product cost plus profit share plus packaging plus loading plus inland shipping plus customs cost plus freight plus insurance if insurance is possible to belong to the exporter. Unloading is the responsibility of the buyer. Taxes and cost in both customs, freight, intermediate carrier organization, and cost belong to the exporter in EXW responsibility of the importer in DDP passes to the exporter. Transportation. Cost belong to the seller. Insurance. There is no obligation to have insurance. Insurance transactions are left to the mutual agreement of the parties. Transport mode. All transport in modes available. In the form of DDP delivery, the seller, that is the exporter company, organizes the processes of loading at the factory, inland transportation, loading on the ship at the port and shipping, so that the cargo is delivered to the address specified by the buyer in advance after paying the customs duties and local taxes at the customs point specified by the buyer in the country of the buyer, that is the importer means that it undertakes all the responsibilities and risk and realizes the export. For example, in the contract or performing invoice delivery term, if it is specified as DTP Berlin, an exporter company located in Izmir is responsible for all processes, including customs clearance and tax payments in the buyer's country, until the load reaches the address of the importer that is, the buyer in Berlin of the cargo loaded on a truck in Izmir. DDP price calculation. Product plus, dividend plus, packaging plus, loading plus, inland shipping plus, customs charges plus, insurance plus, freight plus, customs and local taxes in buyer's country plus, internal shipping and unloading costs in buyer's country. In terms of cost and transfer of risk, delivery types starting with the letter C differ from other delivery types. While the transfer of risk and cost is at the same point in forms of delivery starting with the letters E, F, and D, the transfer of risk and the cost is not in the same place in the delivery types starting with the letter C. In the E and F group delivery forms, the transfer of risk and cost takes place in the country of the exporter while in the D term, the transfer of risk and cost takes place in the country of the importer. In term C, the transfer of risk from the exporter to the importer is in the exporting country, while the transfer of the cost is in the importing country. When the delivery types are written on a document, the name of the place where the exporter's responsibility ends, that is, the place of delivery, is written next to the code letters that symbolize the delivery method. In terms of E and F, since the delivery takes place in the exporter's country, 
The name of the place of delivery in the exporting country is written next to the code letters representing the delivery method. In terms of C and D, the name of the place of delivery in the importing country is written next to the code letters symbolizing the delivery method.